Air nice, your boy, Mr. Cinema Drunky. And then Tattoo Doorman want to know what my favorite classical horror movie is. Why am I talking this way? Me don't know. <laughs> I really don't know why I'm doing that. Um, yeah, it's the movie a day challenge. This is day three. And today we must talk about our favorite classic horror movie and there are a lot of classic horror movies and what defines a classic how old does a movie have to be to be a classic in some instances it doesn't have to be old at all because they call them instant classics figure that but no no I had a pretty good idea what he meant it's just what era what where am I going to draw mine from um, I read some of the other days just to see what I had coming down the row, and this one would have fit a few of those, but I finally narrowed it down to one, and I have to give it up for the movie that started yours truly on the road to being a horror fan. Or, I should just say, made me a horror fan when I saw it, because I was like six years old, knew what I was watching was pretty damn scary, very creepy. Um, and the next day at school, I couldn't wait to tell my friends in the schoolyard what I had seen, and they were all like this. And... I had them, I had them like right there in my hand, just, yes, that power, that just grabbing their attention with what I was telling them, and I was like, this, this, I like, this is cool, so after that, it was just this mad rush to see the scariest stuff that I could find, and then tell all my friends about it, and this movie that I speak of, excuse me, this is tea, no alcohol. Uh, the movie I speak of is the original Night of the Living Dead. I caught that movie when I was six years old, like I said. Um, bedtime for me was about 9 p.m. Bedtime for my mother was soon after. Thing is, is that, as I found out now that I'm older, uh, older people have a way of falling asleep a lot quicker and a lot heavier than kids do. Um, I was that kid that always jump out of bed as soon as my mom would crash. So, as soon as I knew she was asleep, I got up, turned on the TV, turned the volume way down. It was like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night one night, and I was flipping through the channels, trying not to make too much noise, because these are not automatic channels like you kids have the, today. These were da, 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 kind of channels. Okay? Black and white TV. And I happened across the movie and I turned it on right about the time that the zombie in the graveyard attacks Judith O'Day. And uh, I didn't know what was going on. I, I just thought this one was getting beat up or something. I didn't know anything about zombies at the time. And, uh, when her brother gets killed, I was like, I didn't realize he had been killed, but I knew it was a very tense moment. He was trying to get after us. I was like, why is he chasing this woman? And, uh, watching him smash the car window and all that other stuff, still unaware that this was the living dead that we're talking about, um... I just really got into the movie, and then as the movie progressed... Uh, they sh they showed a little clip of that the body at the top of the stairs, and I was like, and uh, like, oh, oh, it's dark, pitch black in my house, and I couldn't uh, I couldn't get myself to go back to my room because that image was burned in my head. Yeah, it was uh, it was semi traumatic, but all in all, very very cool. So uh, yeah, I I definitely got to give it up to Night of the Living Dead. And recently I saw some action figures based on the movie. 
the original Night of the Living Dead. They're even made in black and white. How cool is that? I gotta have this. And I have Night of the Living Dead on on a, a dollar DVD that I bought, but I know the transfer's gotta be crap. I really want a nice a nice DVD or a nice transfer of Night of the Living Dead. I think Blu-ray is overkill when it comes to a movie like that. I think a nice DVD that they put a little time and effort into would be perfect. Because you really want that rich, stark black and white. You don't want that hazy gray stuff. You want it to be rich and, and beautiful, you know, black and white. Um, I hate the colorized version. And even more so, I hate the 30-year anniversary version. Did anybody catch that one? They added uh, new footage to the beginning of the movie, which was supposed to pretty much tell you where that graveyard zombie came from. It was supposed to be the body of a, uh, I don't know, convicted death row inmate. But when you see the movie, it was just, it was so terrible and tacky. It was just like a modern film shot in black and white, and the guy in the coffin doesn't even really look like the graveyard zombie that much. Uh, it was so new, you could tell it was shot recently, and then, then they tack it on right at the beginning, and it goes into the whole, the whole, uh, the familiar parts of Night of the Living Dead. So if you're going to have that movie, definitely just get the, the regular movie. Don't bother with that 30-year anniversary crap and the colorized version. Um, they did make a very cool remake of it in 1990, directed by Tom Savini, and i got to give props to that one. That was an excellent remake, uh, excellent uh, retelling of the story. Um, they stuck pretty close to the original, but made a few changes here and there. Barbara was no longer catatonic, you know, she was actually like a kick-ass, strong female figure in this, in the remake. But, uh, all in all, Night of the Living Dead, favorite classic horror movie. And this is Mr. Cinema Junkie signing off for the Movie A Day Challenge. Day three, day four coming up next.